Well, I'll start with, you know, I, I would imagine everyone, last couple of days we've released some statements about Danny and Q, and, and as far as that, really don't have anything more to add. Um, today we finished up really what was our camp phase. Actually, the older guys, guys that played a lot, we, they didn't practice, and we were able to have a young guys scrimmage, and it was a good finish there, and then tomorrow, Friday, we'll start getting ready for Western Kentucky, and then Sunday we'll come back and truly start game week. So, you know, I think overall camp was, we got a lot done. You know, you're asked all the time, are you ready for the season? And I think the group is ready. We're ready to get ready, We're preparing for Western Kentucky. And yet I don't think as a coach I've ever felt like, you know, there's always a couple more things you want to clean up and, and work on. And quite honestly, I think you do that throughout the season. But I've liked the guys' approach through camp. And, and um, you know, we had a number of guys that missed spring football. And it was good to get them back in the rhythm. And I think they are. And, and then there was another group that I think surfaced. And, and we'll have some, some guys that can fill some roles that, that haven't played yet. And so looking forward to, to that and, and certainly looking forward to getting ready to play the season. Well, when were you made aware of Danny's involvement in the incident? I'm not going to comment further on that. Can, can you explain why you felt two games was an appropriate decision in that regard? Well, I think that, you know, there's certainly a, a standard of conduct that, that we want to shoot for and, and want to hold that at a high level and, and anything that, that doesn't, I think, uh, you know, it's appropriate. There are so many kinds of distractions. If this is a unique distraction, how, how do you deal with it? Well, I think that, you know, that certainly this is, you know, unique for this group. And yet, I do believe that throughout this season, you know, and I know, like, when you ask that, there's, there's guys that come to mind, you know, personally, individually, their families, you know, things are going on. And, and so, you know, you try to just, focus on the things that you can not control but impact and, and I think our group has done a good job of that and you know you've I don't think you ever go through a season without distractions you know there's they said there's all different forms of it and you just you just try to focus on the things you can control the day to day and you know I think that's where the group has been good and, and we got to continue to do that, you know, there's going to be probably almost every facet. You know, they're not just here playing football. You know, they're going to school and they've got families, and and then you know, with football, when things are going well, there's talk, and when things aren't going well, you know, how you handle that. So I think that's all part of. And I'm not saying this isn't new, but there are always things that you have to deal with, and the players deal with it, and I think they. You know, they help each other through that, and, and that's uh, that's kind of part of it. Although each circumstance is obviously very different. What have you said to the team in terms of you know how they move forward with their own conduct? Well, I think that you know you're always um, spend a lot of time, and you know every one of these guys participates in university mandated things with dealing with all certain types of conduct, and then. You know, as an athletic department, we do it. Um, you know, there's NCAA things you do, and then within the program, and you're always, and you're always just trying to find ways that you can help message and help them grow. And we'll, you always look at what you're doing and how can you do it better, and, and you're constantly trying to assess that, really. Is there anything that you've said to the rest of the team since this has happened? I'm not going to go into too much what I've been saying to the team, but, you know, it's, uh, you always try to, help them grow, you know, there's all things that come up and, and you try to use those as moments to help, help, help them. Well, you haven't had too many of these kinds of issues right. to deal with. Um, you think there's just an isolated inc incident or is there anything bigger picture to worry about? I think you always want to, you know, make sure you help all your team navigate the, the waters. Coach, you get, as the head coach who's been involved in recruiting these guys, mm -hmm. do you get disappointed, upset, or annoyed when you feel you have to discipline someone if they've done something that doesn't meet your standard? I think that you're, you, you know, it's it's like parenting in the sense that 
um, you know what's the, the right thing and um, and then you make sure that you know wherever and this isn't the first time you know that I've suspended someone and, and you know I think that there are standards that you want to uphold to and I think that's that's okay I think that's good and when it doesn't then you have to take actions and I think as long as you're communicating it and understanding why then then you can move forward you said Saturday your young receivers needed to kind of get through the fog yeah into the season without uh, two wide receivers what's your assessment of kind of who, who changes in the second quarter or which guys maybe have, uh, sure you know I mean I think that you know what happens or has happened really doesn't change their you know they're still working through it right um, but I have like I think that Adam Krumholtz and, and Jack Dunn, you know, those are guys that played last year um, near the end of the year. And, you know, with a spring and a summer and a fall, they're, they, I think they have and they need to have gotten better. And then you've got some of the young guys, two of which were here in the spring, and, and Aaron and Taj, which, you know, I think they know more now and are more comfortable now than they were in April. And then you've got another group that's, I think, starting to come. That's why today and every time we do young guys practices, those are, those are important, those are valuable. So, you know, we just gotta keep, as you would any time, keep helping them grow and develop and, and get confident. I do think that when you get into the season and you start narrowing down your game plan, it is right now they're responsible for the whole playbook and you never carry the whole playbook into any one game you know, so i think that helps um, them but i think there's you know continual growth that needs to happen and we're talking about the receivers but you could say the same thing for every position coach obviously you knew that charges would come against you for at least a few days but as you saw the exact details in the criminal complaint, what was your reaction? Well, you know, I, I did read the, the report and, and really, um, you know, won't comment or add much more after that, but I read it. Paul, what, um, what would your response be to people who think that two games in the moment have a suspension? You know, I, I, I'm sure there's a lot of things that, you know, certainly go through this and, and it's, you know, it's, the most strict one that I've done to this point and um, you know certainly feel that it's appropriate.